Hey again, everybody. It's Thursday. This is Comic Book Hangover, and it is time once again for another weekly haul, weekly review video. Uh, this is actually uh, the weekly haul part of this is really, for me, it's very exciting. I can't wait to get to it. So let's let's uh, get to it as quickly as we can, shall we? Um, so the books that I picked up last week that I want to talk about real quickly. Let's 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 cover um, Radiant Black number eight. Uh, now, this is a series, honestly, um, as much as I've enjoyed this book, this is a series that has been sort of slowing down the last issue or two. But this one here, it picks up and it does pick up in a big way. I mean, we start getting, there, there's hints and indicators that this this whole Radiant thing is is actually bigger than what we think it is. Uh, they, they've been dropping hints the last couple of issues, but this one, it's, it's getting more and more and more. So... Is it starting to feel more like Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Uh, but uh, it's still interesting. It's still entertaining. And this issue really did bring me back into the fold of it. So I'm going to stick with it a little bit longer. Speaking of books that rehooked me. <laughs> uh, Stillwater, number 10. As I said, the last issue, this one, we're focusing on the children of Stillwater, who mentally have grown over the years. But because of the kind of town Stillwater is, because of the things that happen in Stillwater, they're not aging. So they don't grow. They don't get stronger. They don't get sick. They don't, you know, they don't get injured. So physically, they're still, you know, babies. They're still, you know, 10-year-olds. They're still 6-year-olds. But in mental, mental age, they are much, much older than that. And they're kind of sick and tired of being children. So they're taking advantage of the fact that everybody sees them as children so they um they essentially begin to take over the town of stillwater and there's no way to tell really if this is gonna be better than when the judge was was in charge of it so far it's it's still just as scary as when the judge was in charge of it especially with what they do to the judge but uh this is getting to be a very good series uh, they did set up, there's something kind of interesting with this one, actually. They, they, they set up an arrangement where, uh, now that the kids are in charge, that they will send certain kids out of Stillwater for so long with, with adult uh, volunteers so that these kids can grow up. So they go out and they, they age a little bit, and then they come back to Stillwater, and then another group of kids goes out. Um, and um, they, they really haven't said how long there's the kids are going to stay out there for but they did say that you know the kids will be out there but they will they will switch out the grown-ups so that you know they they can move to a different town and have a different parent or whatever and set everything else up so set everything up so that it looks like it's you know square one for a family or whatever you want to call it so that there's no suspicion as to you know why this kid has has you know a rotating cast of parents and the kid is getting older um, so they're, they're, they're doing some really interesting things with this. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see where this series goes. Um, like I said, I, I, that, that issue there, that issue there hooked me like hook, line and sinker with the series. Um, now let's talk about the books that I got this week. All right. Gotta pick some up here. Okay. So now once again, we're going to have some variant covers. Despite my continued disliking of variant covers, they continue to do variant covers that I want to have. So let's just let's just jump into it so we can get to the last books on the stack. Something is Killing the Children, number 20. Seems like this this issue 20 for this series has been a long time coming. Uh, I think the, the, uh, the, the pandemic... And everything shutting down, as well as uh, the book took a took a couple of months hiatus, so it, it feels that the series should be further along than it is. It actually should be further along, but because of things that happen, um, it isn't. So I got the, the the main cover. I also grabbed this variant cover. That I thought it was a pretty neat looking cover, so I grabbed this one as well. Issue twenty. Moving on, we got Dark Hawk number two of five. Of course, you got Spider-Man has got to appear. And on the original series, um, I think Spider-Man showed up at the end of issue two, but his first full guest appearance in the original series was in the third one. Um, and in the original series, Dark Hawk faced off against uh, Hobgoblin. And Hobbies kind of became a uh, a villain for 
Dark Hawk for a little while there. And then I grabbed this variant cover, sort of an homage to the um, little Machine Man miniseries where you know, as the covers went along, they sort of built Machine Man's face more and more. So I don't know if they're going to continue with that. This is kind of cool, so I had to pick that one up. Uh, the next couple of ones here did not have variant covers that I was interested in, or I actually did, didn't look. Robin, number six. Now, i got to say, this Robin series, it is entertaining. It's great to see Damian Wayne sort of coming into his own. But this whole thing with Lazarus Island and this competition, they need to wrap it up fast because I'm, I'm, I, I want to see Damian doing other things than just dealing with this, this island and this competition and, and whatnot. So... Hopefully they, they wrap that up soon because it's it's I'm kind of getting bored with it. Uh, also with DC, Batman The Adventures Continue Season 2, number 4. I believe this is a six-issue miniseries. So almost done with that. And I got to say, this is probably going to be the last of the Batman Adventures Continues miniseries that I get. It's um, uh, I, was, I was talking to uh, one of the guys that works down at my, my LCS and told him, saying, it's kind of moving away from the basic tenets of the animated series. So it's it's feeling less like Batman the animated series and more like just a regular run of the mills Batman story. So that's probably going to be the last one that I picked up. Uh, then I grabbed this is a mini series. I don't remember how many issues this is running for. Turbo Kid, Apple's Lost Adventures. Now this is based on it's either based on or inspired by the movie called Turbo Kid. It's sort of um it's a new movie but it was made in sort of an 80s um low budget i'm hesitant to say beast b film uh but it's it's a low budget movie that i don't know was kind of campy and intentionally campy but it looked really interesting it's one of two movies that i've been looking for but i figured you know what the heck why not i'll grab that but the books that i got this week that i've been really really looking forward to and finally got them in hand and i'm so happy for it batman versus big b a wolf in Gotham. This is the big return of Fables. Uh, I think Fables wrapped up somewhere, I want to say 2015 or so. So it's been a number of years since we've had a Fables book, an original Fable story. So we finally got one. It's going to, kind of be, going to be kind of weird that these new Fables books are going to have the DC Black label uh, logo on them and not the Vertigo Lego label, but I don't care. It's still Bill Willingham. It's still Fables. Look at Big B. He's still looking, look at, look at that, he's still looking pretty good. Cannot wait to jump into that. So I grabbed that one, and I know there were a bunch of variant covers, but my LCS only got one that I could see. So I grabbed this one as well. And I really like that cover too. You got Big B up in the corner, and I don't know if you can see very well, but in the moon, it's a wolf. So instead of the Batman logo up there, you got a wolf logo. So that's kind of cool. I cannot wait to jump into that. Now what they're doing with Fables is this is going to be a six issue mini series. They'll wrap up next year. And then the month after this series ramps up, Willingham and all the guys and gals that were part of Fables originally are going to come back and start a 12 issue maxi series continuing Fables from issue 151 uh, up to, it's probably going to like 163. So we got a whole, just a nice set of well, over a year of new Fable stuff, and I'm very excited about it. I'm hoping that this means that we'll get more Fables. I would like to see more stuff come back, but not, you know, I don't want to overdo it. But I'm really fiending for some Fables, because I really enjoyed that series. One of my favorites. So, and, uh, and I did um, a couple of videos where I um, talked about and showed off my Fables collection. So if you're interested in that, that's in my Full Run Friday playlist so you can go ahead and check those out great covers great characters great stories amazing art i mean just we had some of the greatest artists like phil jimenez was an amazing artist he did some uh some stuff on ferris adam hughes did some covers for ferris and he got the amazing covers that we had for fables the main series but anyway anyway that that that's that's that so those are the books that i picked up this week those are the books i wanted to talk about real quick from last week now as far as this month of October goes. We got coming up. Actually, tomorrow is Friday. It's the first month of October. So what I'm doing is for my full run Fridays throughout this month, as well as my mini Mondays, uh, they're all going to be horror comic themed. So 
Uh, my full run Fridays are going to be talking. I'm going to show off the the full runs of some of the horror books that I have, or, or horror esque books that I have. Uh, my mini Mondays, I'm going to go through and look at some uh, uh, like horror or sort of darker mini series that I have in my collection. I'll reread them and review them, and and uh, you know pop those videos up as well. So the very first one I'm doing is sort of um um not one series. But two series and a few specials. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be talking about tomorrow going live. This will be at, at two o'clock Eastern time. It's gonna go live on this channel. It's gonna be uh, my uh, Clive Barker's horror books. So it's gonna be from Epic Comics, um, the Hellraiser, uh, Nightbreed, Book of the Damned. There's uh, Eclipse Comics. Uh, I showed off my Tapping the Vein and some other stuff. So we got we got you know a nice selection of horror comics starting off with clive barker's nightbreed and hellraiser books some great books amazing covers on those as well and some just like with hellraiser in, in itself it was a veritable who's who of some of the greatest writers and greatest artists that we had at that time even now i mean like neil gaiman did some uh, did some stuff for the hellraiser and that's just like that's that's awesome that's great but anyway that's going to be um tomorrow and then the next couple of weeks we're going to do just nothing but horror comics and mini mondays will be my horror mini series i'm looking forward to it i hope you guys check out the the stuff that i put together for that now that said if you want to make sure that you're not missing the videos that I'm putting together, make sure you're subscribed. There's a little subscription button down there, so definitely check, definitely click on that. Click the like button too while you're down there, and then you can hit that notification button that'll let you know when I've got a new video coming out. So my uh, full run Friday uh, Hellraiser Nightbreed video that's going live tomorrow, you'll get the notification for that if you have that notification button hit. And of course, subscribe, as I said, like, as I said, um, comment down below, share the video, do all that fun stuff. Um, other than that, I'm going to go check out these books. I'm very eager about this Batman versus Big B series. It's nice to have Big B. I'm, I'm, I'm actually very curious if they're going to name drop any of their fables. And I'm curious as to how uh, Big B ended up from the fables universe into the DCU. It's going to be interesting to find out. But thanks for watching. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Full run Friday. We've got Nightbreed. We've got Hellraiser. Some great horror stuff. Have a good night.